So the first thing you do is find your corners and, and sink your T-post into your corners. And then, with it, then take the collar. The collar on the inside of the collar is a notch. Slide that notch down over the backbone of your T-post to a location between the wire separators on the face and rotate it half a turn or a third of a turn. And it's locked into place at that point. If you, if you want to move it anywhere else, you have to turn it out slide it down or up and then turn it again. At that point you attach the 3H24 screws front and back and attach the flat eyes to those and then your brace has a clevis on each end of it. Attach one clevis to the flat eye using a, a quarter inch screw provided and, and continue on from there. Once your support brace is attached to your collar on, on your corner post, take the other end of your brace and lay it on the ground in your fence line. That's where your next T-post will go. Hammer that T-post in, slide that collar down over the T-post to the ground, attach a flat eye and your, your set screw, and then attach the other end of your, your uh, brace to that. Then to apply tension to your, to your corner post, if your corner post leans in a little bit, just turn your brace and expand the, uh, the length of your brace and it'll push your corner post out or pull it in depending on how, what you want. Now once this system is up, you can, you can pull your fencing tight. You can pull it 200 pounds per square inch and it, it won't pull out of the ground, it won't bend, the horses won't take it down, cattle won't take it down.